So you've just started at a new company and everything's great bar the fact that you don't have pseudo rights. So if I go in here and try and install something. This will try and install VS code. And if I type in my password, I have no pseudo permissions, which is a nightmare. Some companies do this for security reasons, insurance reasons, whatever the reasons are, I don't care. It's shite. So the way to fix it is basically to install the app that you're looking to install as the user. So this is on VirtualBox and I came across this issue whenever I realized that I haven't given this VBox user uh, pseudo rights. So if I install app, try and look up install app packages without pseudo. I've came across this problem before and wrote a little article about what you can do to solve it. What you can do is if we go and get VS Code, so you can install VS Code directly from this Debian file and this is less steps than the steps needed if you're installing something from the apt repo. So we'll do this first. So if I go to downloads, uh, you can see that it's, it's downloaded VS Code, the Debian file. And what I can then do is copy this. Oh, I need to do... Um, dpkg-x so that'll extract it and do I want to put it anywhere it doesn't really matter where I put it um, you can put it here but what you can it's going to get quite messy so what you could do is go to your user repo and create a I don't know we'll just call it temp for now and this is where I'm going to install vs code for this user so if i go to temp and if i move downloads code if i move that into this directory what i can then do is type in dpkg which is debian package extract code here what it'll then do is extract it and that'll have all the stuff in here that we need hopefully if my calculations are correct Uh, you need to go and find the executable. So basically what happens is the Debian package has all these files just packaged under .deb and that includes the executable. So from here, what you can then do is uh, if we go back to the root directory, and look in here for our i think it's a bash rc file do we have a dot profile i don't think we do let's see oh we do okay i couldn't remember there or not if i had to add that um yeah and in the dot profile what you can then do copy and paste this in wherever it is dot profile and what this is what this is going to do is it's going to if you copy and paste the fat the the path to the executable so i need to go temp user so this user is basically just where vs code is uh set so if i copy that path and you don't need to put the home or the user in that's what this will do so you can just get rid of that and so this home is basically like saying tilde temp for example and in theory if i do that and i need to rerun this so that this refreshes and in theory i should be able to launch vs code from anywhere now and that should be it installed so how did i do that source if you type source profile that'll run it and if i run vs code from here it is installed so i showed you how to install app packages from a dot dev file that you get from a website so our example was vs code and this just works out of the box because everything should be packaged up inside this dot dev file now the problem when downloading stuff from the app get repo is that i don't I'm not convinced that it downloads all the dependencies. So the one downside of 
doing this method is you do need pseudo access one last time but this should be it you should be able to get this if you're like in your work or wherever you are uh, if you don't then the only other alternative that i know of right now is to find the dot dev file from uh, the website or yeah the website that the app belongs to so to look for vs code go to the vs code website and get the dot dev file if you don't have that you will need this app r depends and what this does is this will go and get all the app dependencies for a package that you download but once you have this installed that should be it no more pseudo access required so what you can then do is once apt r depends is installed what i like to do is make a apps folder you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to call it apps for the sake of simplicity change the directory to the apps folder and then in here what you can then do is make a directory for each program to make it nice and easy uh, and in here then what you can do is if you go to this how to install apt packages without sudo and then what you can do is copy and paste this command that are this set of commands so this will basically download all the dependencies for cflow and the app cflow itself now whatever app you're installing or want to download just replace the name there so if it's obs studio just replace this with obs studio and it should work so if i go in here and i need to copy it first that'd be a good idea wouldn't it what this will do is it'll go and get all the dependencies for cflow and um, so the cflow and gcc libc you know there's a few files there this is a small program but it, it, this package clearly does have dependencies which is the point of getting apt r depends so once you have that what you can then do is extract all the dot dev packages so if i copy this and what i can do is i want to extract them in here but i want to do it for all of these so what i can then do is put that and why did not work for some reason that doesn't work that's fine we'll just do it for each of these packages so <laughs> delete all the debian files so i'll just do this in vs code because it's quick so all those are extracted and all you need to do is basically find the cflow executable so oh that was handy okay um cflow executable is just under user bin cflow and what you can then do to test this is user bin cflow so it needs an input file so it needs like a main.c um I don't have a main.c but it just shows you that it's downloaded and executable what i can do is if we do that and give it a c file It'll just show you the, the call the call tree, which is basically what Cflow does. If you have a, a C file, it'll show the call tree. So I go into main and then print F. So that's showing that it's downloaded and working. So what we need need to do now is add it to the our dot profile. So if I go yes, trust the authors, go back to my example and copy and paste this. So this is just path to executable. So what I need to do is give it the path which is apps it's just here so apps cflow uh, user bin with that exported what you can then do is reload your profile dot profile file and if i type cflow cflow okay it's worked so if I type cflow, you need to give it the main file just for consistency and you can see that it works. So that's basically how to download, download a Debian file from the apt repo.
and its dependencies and have it in such a way that it's executable from anywhere so i go to my documents folder see flow doc uh, i don't know pictures maybe i don't know why i even don't know do that in there but let's let's see there you go executable from anywhere that's how you do it for a debian package from the actual site and from the app repo and that's me so yeah i'm gonna go now and chill out for the rest of the day okay bye